Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at the screen blend mode. So, uh, as a reminder, blend modes take a bottom layer called the base layer, a blend layer above that, take a blend formula, in this case called screen, and produce a result layer, which is what you see. The screen blend mode is a part of the lighten group, unsurprisingly, it makes the image lighter. And it sort of is a opposite of the darker one, a parallel across here, which is the multiply, which we'll look at. So the screen blend mode, very simply, take a layer, take another layer and combine them to make an even lighter layer. The calculation for this is that for each of the red, green and blue channels within a single pixel, for each pixel then there are three calculations which you do this calculation. I'm going to look into this detail um, with more technical stuff in another video. But for now, let's have a look at what it, how it works in practice. So let's take some uh, rectangles here. They're just shapes. So if I select all of them by just playing shift and clicking the bottom one, then I can change the blend mode and see how they sequence in order. So at the moment, you can see that they're red on top, then black, then white, which reflects the order here in the layers. Now, if I go to darken, what happens is the black goes on top because black is the the dominant mode, dominant color because when you're looking for darkening you're going to get that and multiply in particular is the key opposite of the screen blend mode and again you can see that the, that the black is on top and the white is at the bottom and the red because the lightness of the red is between the white and the black, it sits between them. Similarly, if you go down here, if I go to lighten, now the white is on top, black is at the bottom, and exactly the same in the screen blend mode. So the ordering, the sequencing are the same in terms of the dominance of the colors. So let's take an example here of how this works in terms of lightness. So I take this layer here, hit Control J to duplicate it, and see what happens if I apply the blend mode to the top one. So if I click on this, darken, nothing happens, but if you go to multiply, see it darkens it. So if before multiply, so the black comes in more. So the effectively what you get is the blacks get blacker. And the white is still retained, but there's less of it. Going to the opposite of that screen, you get the reverse effect. Now white comes across. So the whites get whiter and they encroach more and push effectively the blacks away. So uh, if you get a picture itself, do the same thing here. Control J to that. If I change the blend mode, darken does nothing. Multiply makes the whole picture darker, but it doesn't push the blacks right into blacks. It's just darker. It's not blacks everywhere. Whereas lighten here is as an opposite to darken. Nothing happens, but you get to screen. Then the whole picture gets lighter. And this is the reason why you'll use screen rather than the light and blend mode, because if you want it to have this lightning effect. And it's again, there's no burn, there's no pushing the whites out, so you get white and or burned out colours anywhere. It is just that screen. OK. So let's look at them like about key points. The screen blend mode. It's a smart way of lightning. It actually makes picture lighter as opposed to choosing which picture to use based on simply which is the lighter. So it actually actively lightens it. Uh, and I particularly, it doesn't create that burn when if you, as long as you've not got white there originally, of course. So you get a nice picture, just lighter. If you duplicate the screen, uh, as we did just now, take a duplicate screen it, then everything gets lighter, but white and black are retained. So you don't get pushed over the edge. Black is effectively transparent. If you paint black on the blend layer above, then you'll just see the picture below. White, if you put on the top layer, you'll just see white. And uh, it's the opposite in multiply in many ways. And often you can use them together in pairs for two, you know, one bit being darkening, the other bit light lightening, because you're often doing that when you want to create contrast. 
and layers can be swapped so it's a we can call it commutative so the top and the bottom layer change around same effect and useful thing in here is reduce opacity typical uses just lightening two dark areas is used quite a lot in this um, particularly when if you make it, the lightning look natural um, dodging as in dodging burning so you might use the multiply for the burn and the screen for the dodge and blending then in different ways in overlays and textures anyway that's it um, in other videos there'll be a technical video on the detail of the calculation and then an example video with a number of different ways of using screen in practical situations anyway that's it and thank you very much